How to create consistent characters is a question I get a lot from you. In this video, I will show you the start method that consists of five easy to follow steps for training a Laura. Each step builds up upon the previous one, so make sure to not skip ahead. We are going to use the Civitai online trainer for this, which is more or less free. Later in this video, I will introduce this week's sponsor, Pigloomin AI, which made this video possible. We are training a character Laura based on Claire from Resident Evil 2. Laura stands for Low Rank Adaption. Think of it as an add-on that teaches an image model, a character, art style or concept that the AI model is not familiar with. To train a Laura, you need a data set, images in our case. While doing some test renders, I found out that Flux already has a basic knowledge of what Claire looks like. For me, that wasn't good enough. Her look changed quite a bit over time, so we are going to focus on a photorealistic look that looks a little bit more like this. The minimum for a data set would be 15 to 25 images. I don't like mediocrity, so we are going with 30 to 40 images. Your data set needs different shot sizes and camera angles like close up, full body, front, side, above. Apart from our traditional clothing, it's beneficial to include some variation like a dress or a jogging suit into the data set. Another thing to improve quality is different backdrops. My default is living room, outside and simple background. I will show you a neat trick how we can render this all in one go. If the image model you are going to use does not know the character, you may want to use the Laura. Lucky for us, Cyberrealistic XL already knows what Claire looks like. For image generation, I'm using Automatic 11.11. Now comes the neat trick we talked about. Scroll down here and here select XYZ plot. For all three axes, select prompt, search and replace. This will look for a specific word in your prompt and then will replace it and render again. Don't take any chances, so describe the person as close as possible. I describe her as shoulder length, red brown hair, blue eyes, long hair, ponytail, fair skin. After that, I describe her traditional outfit. Image is a face close up, outside night, sitting. First, we want to render against different camera angles and shot sizes. The first value is the one that the script will look for. So we copy this here. Now I paste all the different angles. This would render us six different images. Now for the backdrops. I decided for outside night, outside day, living room and simple background. This would render us six times four images, so 24 images in total. In the last section, I paste in different outfits. This looks much, but it's only three outfits since it's always comma separated. We have a basic outfit, then we have a black elegant evening dress and we have a jogging suit. This would give us 72 images in total, unless we are increasing the batch count or batch value slider. My render settings are DPM++ to M and I set schedule type to Keras. I use 25 sampling steps and the resolution is 1024 by 1024. My CFG scale is 7 and also I activated after detailer. If you don't know what this is, check out my video here. Press Ctrl Enter to render us some nice images. When the script is finished rendering, it gives us this image overview, so you can see how different prompt combinations behave. There are also scripts that can do more than three axes, but this would go out of scope with this video. While we have enough images in general, I would love to have some images of her standing, so I will probably render this again, just with standing instead of sitting. If your hardware isn't strong enough for AI image generation, use this week's sponsor, Pig Lumen AI. It's an online AI image generator service that comes with amazing free tools like in-painting or out-painting. You can also use Flux for free. Just click the link below my video and launch app. On the Explore tab, you can get inspired by the amazing art of the community. Like something you see? Just click on it. You can hit the remix button so all settings get loaded. We are going to switch out the beginning of the prompt with a fierce woman to a futuristic robot warrior with destroyed armor plates. I will generate two images here. Flux always delivers great results. Pig Lumen has its own amazing AI image model.
Just click on the drop down and select Pig Lumen Realistic version 2. From the aspect ratio, select 3x4. And we are using this prompt. Robotic lion, wearing robotic armor, glowing eyes with smoke, masterpiece, sci-fi background, knight. And hit generate. Ah, I love it. Actually, both of them. But what if you don't want it to be a lion? That's when in-painting comes into play. Select your image and click on the in-paint icon. Down here, increase your brush size. And then paint over the lion's head. Let's write down in the prompt box, dragon head. And hit submit. Ah, this looks cool. Now it's a dragon. Another great feature here is outpainting. Just click on the expand button down here. You can drag the outside of the box and you can extend the image like you want. Let's say we want to extend the image in this box. And here we just click submit without a prompt. Big Lumen's outpainting did an amazing job. Remember, all of this is free, so no excuses for not trying it out. Click the link below this video and get started. It's up to you if you want to sort out images like this or if you want to put in the time to inpaint and or upscale the images. I usually delete them and I do this for every image that somehow misrepresents the character. Like this one here that came out very strange. You also want to sort out images with strange anatomy features like this one here. The cult also looks a little bit bent. Now you want to create a new folder on your disk and there you throw in a wild mix of different poses, camera angles, backdrops and so on. Also double check your image inputs because here in this image she has green eyes, Claire's original eyes are blue. This could lead to trouble in terms of consistency. One problem I ran into with the Claire images is that she always wears some kind of metal or a wart or patch on her clothes. Even on this image where she wears a dress, it looks like a police badge here. So I rendered a couple of more images with this negative prompt here. Patch, accolade, medal, decoration, award, however that is pronounced and so on. With this, we got much cleaner images. I also got a little creative, as you can see. So my image training set now has 37 images. Triple check your data set for hands like these. If this video has been helpful to you, consider to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on any content. This shows me that I'm on the right track with my content and that I'm building an audience. Thank you for doing that. For the actual training, we are using Civitize Online Trainer. Training costs virtual currency. I will explain later how you can get it. Hover over the Create button and click on Train Laura. From the three presets, select character. Here I type Claire Redfield and I hit the next button. Now drag and drop in your selected images. We need to caption our images. This helps the AI to learn which features are important and which are variable. For example, for our character, I won't take the eye color or the hairstyle, so the AI image model learned that this is a part of the character. We don't need to do it alone, we can click here on auto tag. Don't go higher than 15 tags, otherwise you get irrelevant tags or obvious ones. The threshold value says how confident is the vision model on what the tag actually is about. We tell the auto tagger to ignore her blue eyes, because like I explained earlier, I want her to have always blue eyes. I write red hair and brown hair because sometimes the AI model recognizes both. Also ponytail. As trigger word for my Laura, I said red Claire. This will be tagged in every image now. After you're finished, click send. When training on famous people, don't use their real name. To avoid legal issues, some model creators purge political figures or actors from the data sets, but the activation phrase is still associated to these deleted data. Here you can see the first tags are coming in. After it's finished, it's important to go over it again. Sometimes important things are missing and sometimes you will find a lot of unimportant tags. It seems 15 was too much already because things like lips and nose does not need to be tagged. Before you hit next, make sure to click the download button. This will download a zip file that includes all your training images along with the tags. 
If you want to train it for another AI image model like SD 1.5, for example, you don't have to start from scratch. I found this incredibly helpful. Back on the page, confirm that you own the rights on the bottom and click next. If you want, you can share your data sets with others to download. Sometimes the upload gets stuck, so you need to refresh the page. For training our model, we need to pay this virtual currency called BUS. For SDXL and SD 1.5, it's 500. For or flux is 2000. You have several ways to earn bus by staying active in the community. You can react to images, you can give feedback on the online generator, you can follow three people each day, etc. But you can also get bus from others if they like your images or give you a tip. Back to our training. After selecting flux, click open the training parameters. People will tell you online that you need 20 epochs and 20 repeats, but that's not true. First, we set it to our image resolution, which is 1024 by 1024. For repeats, we go to 12, and for epochs, we go to 7. Actually, let's go with 8, just to be sure. With the last update, it got more expensive, so now it's 2300 because we changed the epochs and the number of repeats. It says 1 hour and 49 minutes, we could set it to high priority, that would make it even more expensive, but I do not do that. Because that's waste in my opinion, I have other hobbies and you could also prepare another dataset for your next LoRa in that time. Click Submit. Now Civitai will tell you what it costs and how much bus you will have left. As you can see here, everything's good in the neighborhood and the training has already started. This one down here is from a test recording, I will delete it. All we have to do now is wait. While it's rendering, you can already test the epochs that are finished. As soon as an epoch is finished, it will be shown here with three test renderings. We could have given it three prompts for these images, but I don't do it because these images are often misleading. I encountered cases where I had terrible test images, but the LoRa turned out just fine. You can ignore this message up here. I trained 10 LoRa's so far and none of it failed. After 20 minutes, the first epoch has finished, so we could download it now and test it, but I won't, because it will be totally undertrained. After two and a half hours, I received an email and now all my epochs are finished. Training status also says ready. I'm going to download all of us using this button, but to be honest, I will be testing epoch eight to five. After publishing, the rest becomes unavailable. For testing, we are using ComfUI. Go in your ComfUI folder under Models and here under LoRa's. After starting your ComfUI, drag and drop in my workflow. It could happen that you see a red box here. If that's so, click the manager and click install missing custom nodes. There should be an install button here and it should show you the RG3 pack. Also make sure to update your ComfUI to the latest version. I prepared this prompt here, full body shot front view of woman Claire Redfield with long hair ponytails. Remember Red Claire was the trigger word we gave it. Let's add weapon and dramatic atmosphere at night. Click open the extra options and let's render us four images. Now we click Q prompt and let's take a look here what I've done. I used Eula normal and for resolution I go with 1024 by 1280 with 30 steps. These already look great, I love it. What I do now is I render four images of each epoch. For thorough testing, I suggest you use different prompts and that you use different strength as well. Just make sure you compare strength to strength, so it's no use if you compare epoch 7 with a strength of 1 to epoch 5 with a strength of 1.4. To keep this video short, I will just use one prompt. After testing and trying, I decided I'm going to release two versions here. I will use epoch number 4, which is a little bit more free and maybe slightly undertrained, but I will also release Epoch 7, 
which seems to be perfectly trained. I found Epoch 8 to be a little bit overtrained, but maybe that's just me. I also ran up these amazing game covers of Resident Evil 2 using Flux and these images of Claire in front of the RPD. I really like what we have accomplished. It's time to release. This is your last chance to download all the epochs and the example prompts and images, so do it now. I click publish on epoch 7. I have to upload epoch 4 later manually. The settings here are important because this is how your Laura will present it to other Civita users. First we have the description. This is what you will put in your text box down here. I prepared this text here saying that is my personal interpretation of Claire Redfield from Resident Evil 2 and that I decided against the 2019 remake look and that people can support me via my Patreon. You can as well, by the way. In order to be found, text is super important. This is what we will have up here. When you click on it, all models are shown that use the same tag. What we want to do is video game, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Claire Redfield. Since character is already the category, we are using video game character. That also includes obvious ones like woman and female. So for last text we're using video game and game character. This should be enough. I decided to change the name to Claire Redfield Resident Evil 2. I'm a little picky here, but I don't want anyone to use my model without crediting me and I will forbid to sell images. I can use it on the generator though, I'm okay with that. I won't check any of these down here, you can do what you want, it's a free country. Hit next. I don't know why it says 8 epochs, but yeah, actually not my problem if Civitai doesn't recognize it right. The model the name is also important because that's what the model is called when someone clicks on it. Since I'm going to release Epoch 4 later, I will call this version 1 High Training. Here on this page you can see how it's called and for my model later there would be two buttons with High Training and Medium Training. We train this model against triggers, so we want others to know what they need to do in order to use it properly. We will put it here. It will look like this later. Down here you can select resources that you think it works best with. This will be also recommended to users. After you hit the next button it will create a showcase post and I will delete the images it created automatically and replace them with our images. After release they will show up up here. It's basically a normal image post that is linked to your model. The first image of the gallery post will be the one that is shown when someone searches for models. Due to a bug on Civitai, I had to re-upload my model manually. We drag and drop our images in and now we need to fill our text for the post. They are not that important because they are just for your image post and not to finding your model. So I use Resident Evil, Claire Redfield, Character and Laura. Let's rearrange the images so that we mix them up a little. Otherwise all the first images are only PlayStation covers. That may seem boring. I decided to delete this duplicate here because I inpainted the hand and I liked the original more in the end. Let's add the Resident Evil 2 tag here and then let's publish. While publishing we got 25 bus, but not for uploading the model we got it for posting images. Now our model is visible in the new models page and as you can see it already has 4 downloads which is quite good for a model that is just 1 minute old. It can be tricky to finding your LoRa when you search for it by name. That's because the search index isn't rebuilt immediately. This will change in the next hours so don't panic. It can be found without problems when you click on the tag Resident Evil. Click here to search by newest. And there it is. Ah, 8 downloads already. This concludes our video about LoRa training. Thanks again to my sponsor Piglumen AI. Make sure to check them out, link in the comments. If you need more guidance on your AI image generation journey, make sure to watch this video next.